So today I want to talk about Copenhagen once again because prices have been moving all over the place uh, and obviously things are shifting around, changing around, and we're getting further and further into the sale, which of course is going to give us some more data, some more context into exactly what is going on with Copenhagen, um, but also it's eventually going to get us closer to the end of that sale as well uh, and just be giving us more information about which stickers uh, to maybe keep an eye out on, which stickers could potentially end up being good investments or worthwhile or at least diving uh, further into. And we also have some uh, stories to talk about around some stickers specifically um, that might make them a little bit more interesting or less interesting investments or what have you. So um, with that being said, let's get right into this. The first thing that I did want to talk about um, regarding Copenhagen is this from Zipple CS. This was a while ago. This is actually on April 14th, but I actually do think that this is um, very, very interesting and meaningful regarding the ecstatic sticker from Copenhagen uh, and could potentially give it a nice boost and potentially make it a, a, a more profitable investment or something to keep an eye out uh, for at the very least. Zippo CS tweeted out, sad day as we part ways with our active roster. Would have loved to continue our journey, but I'm also excited and genuinely happy to see them getting getting this opportunity at Gaiman Gladiator GG. Um, so we'll pull that up and take a look at them. He said, it's been such a pleasure working with them. We've achieved great things and I'll continue to cheer for you all. Thank you for everything at Salazar, Cragen, Patty, um, Nodios, Queenix, uh, Castle. Uh, and then obviously here's some pictures of his team, uh, you know, and the things that they were able to do qualifying for Copenhagen and actually having a nice little run at Copenhagen as well, which is a very, very cool story um, for, you know, a guy coming up like Zippo, a content creator, you know, trader, guy in the scene, all of that craziness um, and being able to have such success uh, at, at owning a team and, you know, farming the sticker money and all that stuff. Um, obviously, his roster is moving to the Game and Gladiators, which um, I don't know, not the coolest uh, logo or anything like that in the world. Obviously, it's just GG, but it kind of looks like a Knight's helmet or whatever. It could be an OK looking sticker or whatever if this team does end up, um, you know, maybe qualifying for Shanghai or attempting to qualify for Shanghai or whatever it could give us. Um, a u new unique uh, borderless sticker or sticker altogether, whatever. This this could be kind of cool. Um, obviously, we know that Ecstatic Team is uh, pretty talented. They were formidable. They played well together. Um, and obviously, they were supported very well under Zippel and his organization. They were able to do very, very cool things. So, Zippel followed up by saying, I know that everyone should take HLTV comments with a grain of salt, but I'd like to clarify something. During the RMR and the major, I put all my training on pause. I neglected all my work, forgot to pay my bills, barely ate, checking in and out of hotels every night. I've never earned a dime from being a team owner, and I honestly don't expect to ever earn money. The reality is that accepting a couple gambling sponsors we got offered when we qualified to the major could have allowed us to make different choices. We chose not to. So they actually, uh, you know, he's saying they didn't accept gambling sponsors, which, um, you know, maybe would have allowed them to hang on to their team more or make more money or be more profitable or whatever. He says it's 100% passion from my side. People who's actually in the scene know that. I love the players, the scene, the talent, production. Um, the entire thing is like one big family. Back to the drawing board now. However, a genuine fuck you is in order to everyone who says stuff like this. Uh, trying to contribute with something yourself, dickheads. Uh, and, you know, there's some HLTV comments that he highlighted here saying, laugh my ass off. You cannot afford to keep promising Danish team under Danish organization. 0% passion for the game. 100% money. I bet he wouldn't even know what CS is if there uh, if it were not for skins. Um, so Zippel sold out businessman in the end, you know, saying that, hey, uh, he must have sold this roster to the game and gladiators or whatever and, and try to make some money there. And obviously, um, I know he says, you know, he didn't make money or whatever, but they, they obviously have uh, sticker and skin money or sticker money coming in and stuff like that. And I don't know if obviously that's all going to get paid out or if that's going to be overall covering his expenses or whatever, because obviously we don't even know how much money that's going to be just yet. Um, didn't Zippel say during the major that this is a long term project uh, and Zippel man only thing on his mind is money, which is uh, obviously some not fair uh, comments and stuff like that but um, this does mean that team ecstatic is going to be getting an entirely new roster if zippel is going to continue going forward with this or whatever so obviously that will be uh, making it more difficult for them to have a very very top and high quality team heading into shanghai now that doesn't mean he can't do it uh, but again shanghai happens i believe in december it is now may 5th and obviously this stuff is happening at the beginning of april um, so the time for him to not only be able to uh, look and acquire uh, look into and acquire a roster that's going to be strong enough to to, um, you know, come together and play well, but not only qualify for the Shanghai Major, you know, that it's not impossible, um, but obviously him losing his team that performed well at Copenhagen and did all the good things they were able to do um, does make it less likely that Ecstatic as an organization and as a sticker will be at Shanghai if Shanghai does end up being borderless. So um, to me, uh, obviously with a major happening in like March or, or whenever Copenhagen happened and then another major happening in uh, December with Shanghai, those are only nine months apart. The team's 
not a ton is going to change in those nine months. There's going to be different teams. There's going to be better teams, worse teams. There's going to be roster changes, whatever. But, um, you know, for the most part, the best teams in the world or really the best of the best teams are going to be mostly similar throughout the same calendar year. Um, but having big shakeups like this is uh, one of the big, biggest ways that we can get, um, you know, entirely different teams moving in and out um, of these kind of major pools and be getting all new different kinds of stickers. So um, obviously with something big like this happening to Ecstatic, I do think it obviously uh, lowers the chances of getting a, a borderless Shanghai ecstatic sticker. I don't know if Shanghai is going to be borderless or not. I think at this point we kind of have to assume it is going to be borderless, um, but it does actually decrease the chances of us getting a borderless ecstatic sticker, which makes the ecstatic sticker one to watch out for uh, very, very closely. And this sticker has almost dropped under a dollar. Now you can see here it is down to a dollar oh three. Um, and that is definitely becoming a more and more attractive price because ecstatic right now is a um, unique borderless sticker to Copenhagen. And I honestly don't think it's a terrible looking one. Um, you know, it being a lightning bolt, I think gives it a ton of actual craft ability. You know, I've seen stuff like um, using the Ecstatic logo on like the Olympus, the new Zeus skin or whatever. Um, but obviously there's going to be tons of opportunities. I'm sure there's a lot of cool like dragon skins you can put lightning bolts with and stuff. And um, there's a different, a ton of different uh, interesting, um, you know, use cases you can get for a yellow lightning bolt. There's a ton of yellow stickers in Copenhagen and it's kind of over yellow and has a yellow issue, but um, having a yellow lightning bolt shouldn't really ever be too big of a problem. But this is definitely um, one sticker that I'm going to be keeping an eye on a little bit closely, a little bit more closely than before. You know, this thing was 265. It has dropped down. Um, we are now kind of at its all-time lows. And again, as the sale goes on, uh, especially until we get kind of closer to the end of the expected expected end of the sale or whatever, which we'll dive more into in another video about when we think those dates and times are going to happen and all that, um, we might see uh, prices start to plateau or rise up or whatever. But I think for now, we're kind of going to expect to continue to see prices continue to drop um, during the rest of the sale. And if this thing goes under a dollar, if it gets closer to, you know, 80, 70, 60 cents, something like that, this could um, start to become a lot more attractive and interesting because we can see right now there are some stickers down there. We have Mongols at 36 cents, Ents at 43 cents, Amcall down at 43. Um, being a unique borderless sticker at 43 cents seems really, really attractive and really interesting to me. Um, I did want to look at Amcall. I don't know if it's at its all-time lows or anything like that just yet, but again, being around that 40, 30, 20 cent mark, you know, if Amcall ever gets in that range um, where it's down to like 30, 35, 20, 9 27 cents um it's gonna be really hard to like at least not keep an eye on that um and then again we have legacy another uh unique borderless sticker to Copenhagen being at a dollar six so um keep an eye on those three borderless unique stickers 43 uh dollar oh three and a dollar oh six is going to be very very interesting to me definitely something i'm keeping a close eye on um Getting into the second page, we have a couple stickers that I'm not as interested in uh, for a couple different reasons. I know Saw, um, if this ever loads, obviously the uh, Steam Community Market doesn't really, uh, you know, kind of loads when it wants to. But um, we do have Saw here at $1.70, which is crazy. This has been such a big drop off. This thing was like four, five, six dollars at some points. Um, but the thing about Saw, they are very, they're still pretty high up in the HLTV rankings. I believe they're um, kind of 19th in the world right now. I don't know if this shows everything. I was trying to get um, just all the teams to like uh, pop up and stuff. But um, Saw is still a, a team that is intact and, and uh, looking pretty good and, and a team that is going to be more likely to qualify than Shanghai than something like Ecstatic or something like that. Um, the Saw sticker, again, is a cool one. It's a nice little triangle sticker. It can be used as an A and some different crafts and stuff like that. Um, but at $1.70, it's probably too expensive for me. But if it does continue to drop, that might be something that I keep an eye on. Uh, and then finally, checking into the highest of the high tier stickers in the Copenhagen collection. Um, we do have Koi that is down to $10. We have uh, Cloud9 down under $8, which has been a really, really crazy drop off. And the two two of the big stickers in this collection as well, down to $525 and $624 being Lin Vision. Again, these stickers uh, as investments do not really make sense to me at all. I do think the Koi sticker is very cool. Cloud9 is not even a unique borderless sticker, and Cloud9 has so many better looking stickers out there. Um, this Furia from Copenhagen is actually pretty cool, and Lin Vision is cool as well. Um, but just buying at $6.24 or $10.37, it doesn't really seem like there's much room where it makes much sense for profitability there for me. So those are ones I'm going to be staying away from from uh, unless we see these prices drop off a lot further but that is pretty much it for this video today guys hopefully i can catch you in the next one until then peace